Okay. Did it start? I yes. Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Hi Brian. Brian. <laughs> And um, I'm going to give you my one word descriptor of my culture, which is gay, actually, yeah. And I put that out there on the first day of class because believe it or not, there's actually gonna be somebody in this class probably that drops my class because I said that. Maybe not, but I have to at least put it out there because I found otherwise if I don't say it, then I have a semester's worth of students spending the next three months going, <laughs> so I sort of just get it out of the way the first day because otherwise we waste a lot of time, you know, you know, whispering and figuring all that out. And that's a lot of you know, waste of time and bullshit to me. But I also bring it up because even though we've gotten gay marriage in New York, we also, and I, by when I say we in this particular discourse, I'm talking about LGBT folks or an LGBT community, L lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Um, when I say we, even though we have achieved our rights perhaps in New York City and New York State, we also know that there are 42 other states in which gay marriage is not yet possible. And fighting state by state is fatiguing, annoying, it hurts my feelings, and it pisses me off. And I feel I still need to stand up here and beat a gay drum and tell people that just because we have gay rights achieved in certain areas, we have not achieved them everywhere. And that's why I still feel it's strong enough to stand up and explain to people about how important it is to care about these issues today. I also know that when I was a high school student, and I know that even when all of you were in high school, that um, even though that was probably 20 years or so after I was in high school, with the exception of a couple of you, yeah. <laughs> uh, that we all know in high school, everybody's favorite subject is picking on the kid who's different. And unfortunately, in high school, when LGBT students wind up being different or are perceived to be different, the consequences can be devastating or disastrous. Mm -hmm. We've seen episodes of people being so stressed out, like Tyler Clemente, that they jumped off the George Washington Bridge to deal with the bullying that he experienced in the first year of his college education at Rutgers. And imagine if that happened to any of you here, would you feel like running over to the Queensboro? And so I think there are tons of reasons to keep on talking about this topic until people aren't jumping off bridges anymore. And I'm glad to introduce myself as a gay professor, and hopefully you'll be glad to introduce yourselves to me as some single word version of your culture on Thursday. That's it. Woo! So do you have any questions for my presentation, or? Are you No, you pick the word yourself. Unless you're all gay. You pick my word, you know, don't you? How long do I have to drop the class? Do you have to drop the class? Do I drop the class? I think the class, look, if you don't want a W, I think, I think before March 27th. That'll work. Any other questions? Have people really dropped the class? They have. And, you know, and I didn't even know it at first, but then later on in the semester, Friends of theirs, will, like friends that I'll have made in the class, will then tell me, oh yeah, you remember that girl, she dropped the class because she's like, oh my gosh, my professor's a drag queen, you know, like I mean, they, people have overreacted in, in whatever ways, and so I just put it out there, because why, you know what I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to trick people. I'm, like, I'm not into manipulating people, if you want to be in my class, be in my class, if you don't want to be in it, there's a class down the hall. Okay. See you on Thursday. Thanks. And if you have any questions, feel free to come.